Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We'll look at the afternoon numbers and some of the latest trends here. Um, we had some good snow in Colorado over the last 48 hours, like one to two feet down in the southern mountains of uh, Colorado. Uh, now we're going to focus on uh, California. We've got a, a really slow moving storm moving in, so um, the snow will continue for the next few days there in the Sierra. Uh, and then there are storm systems beyond that. There's like three lined up that I'm counting, at least two of them will come through California. That's why we're going to see such big totals in the Sierra. There's even a fourth storm possible, um, maybe 3-4 to 3-6. So this active pattern is going to continue into the first week of March as it looks right now. And all these storms will come out of the west, come out of the west coast, and then hit like the Wasatch, hit the Tetons hit parts of Idaho and then run through Colorado. So we're going to see a really nice rich flow across the Intermountain West. Let me just show you what it looks like right now. Um, so this is visible satellite and there's our next big low that is going to be moving at snail's pace. It's almost cut off, but that's what's going to produce some really heavy snow in the Sierra. Good jet support, good wind energy, all of that happening with that area of low pressure. There's another one behind it and then there's another one behind that. And I'll show you the jet pattern here in a second, but what we're going to find is really powerful northern branch doing its thing. And then there's also a southern branch coming into the equation, helping to fuel these lows once they hit the west coast, adding just moisture um, to moisture pressure to the, to the whole situation. Um, I actually did write about it this morning, my blog, chrystomer.com, snow forecast through 3.5. I pointed out the numbers in Purgatory. Wolf Creek have been really big. Um, Kirkwood had just be just getting started because the next low is coming in. The numbers are all going to start to pick up and intensify. I talked about the pattern. That's the jet pattern from this morning's data. Let me show you what it looks like this afternoon. Pretty similar. Um, this is a pattern on 3.1, a really interesting sort of turning point. Um, so you've got a definite area of low pressure moving across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado on 3-1. Waiting on the next area of low pressure, you can kind of see the dip in the jet in the northern Pacific Gulf of Alaska area. That one will be the next one to sweep south and um, come through the Pacific Northwest, West Coast, and then move through the interior. And like I said, we may have three to four storm systems through 3-5 and 3-6. So there's going to be some pretty decent totals out of this. Let me go back and uh, to the blog here. And I didn't put timing in here. We'll get to the timing in a second. I also went out to March 10th, so really long range stuff here. Um, and the pattern's very similar. You can see the lower atmospheric pressure anomalies indicated across much of the West. And this is March 10th. So we may have an active pattern all the way through March 10th at this point with just storm after storm rolling into the West Coast. So. Um, really like seeing that. Let me just show you what the forecast radar and satellite look like. Here's Saturday morning. There's your cutoff low in California. Snow continues, then it ejects on the 26th, moves through the Intermountain West. A little bit of a pre-wash from the next storm. Look at the next big low coming in, 228, running across the Intermountain. Next low, they're all just lined up. And then there's another one. You can kind of see it up in BC in the Pacific Northwest. That one will also sweep south pretty rich pattern. I did break out snow numbers by date. There's Telluride, there's Brighton, and Kirkwood. I mean, look at the numbers in Kirkwood. I got four days at 14 inches coming. Um, and the other days, it's snowing six inches a day. The issue will be getting to resorts like Kirkwood and Tahoe, Palisades, and, and Mammoth with this kind of snow in place. My forecast totals from this morning are right here. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as this afternoon goes in the data. So the rest of today through 226, about a foot, maybe two feet there in Mammoth and uh, about a foot over Tahoe with this next low sweeping south. Um, you can see the other numbers, they're pretty light, a few over the Tetons and the Wasatch. Let me get to period two. So 227 through 35, another three to four feet in the Sierra, big snow. Um, another couple of feet for the Tetons and the Wasatch looking really good. In Colorado, we're looking at about a foot for most places, maybe more in a couple of spots. Um, look at the uh, look at Washington State in Oregon. 30, 40, 50, 60 inches of snow possible. Um, really solid storm track through there through the 6th, even the 5th or 6th of, um, of March. Got a couple specialty maps here. Here's southern Colorado grand totals through the 5th. 
um, generally one foot, but uh, maybe a couple of feet over Wolf Creek, and even snow down to the valley levels around Durango, Del Norte, and Bayfield. Um, here's uh, another specialty map. Central and northern mountains of Colorado, about a foot through Summit County, I-70, a little bit more obviously, um, a little bit more up around Steamboat, Buff Pass and Cameron Pass, Longs Peak. Um, let me show you what the numbers, the grand totals look like for the Wasatch. It's going to be a great period. A couple of feet, if not more, for the Wasatch with these storms tracking from west to east, running right into the Wasatch. Um, again, just a great period ahead. Most of that actually comes um, before the 5th, probably, but actually before the 4th even. So it's going to be coming sooner than later. Um, I'll take it to the northeast. Um, the numbers, what's remaining, about 8 to 12 inches for Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, with a couple different waves of low pressure coming through. So there's still obviously snow in the forecast there, but the biggest totals by far are going to be out west. I'll leave you on the 227 to 35 map, clearly indicating two to three different storm systems with these type of totals coming through during that period. All right, enjoy all this. Have a great weekend. Find some great snow. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.